Welcome back, fellow adventurers. Today, we're going to explore Kuala Lumpur, or KL, the capital city of Malaysia. This extraordinary metropolis offers delectable cuisine, unbeatable shopping, and accommodations for every budget. Join us as we unveil a personalized three-day itinerary to discover the best things to do in KL. Day 1. Embrace the best of KL. Explore the vibrant Chinatown. The first stop on our itinerary is Chinatown. A visit to Chinatown KL is an absolute must, even if you're short on time. This bustling district offers an abundance of experiences, from browsing the vibrant Petaling Street Market to indulging in mouth-watering local cuisine and exploring temples of different faiths. Start by immersing yourself in the lively atmosphere of Petaling Street. This iconic street is a treasure trove of merchandise. From trendy clothing to unique local handicrafts that make perfect souvenirs for your loved ones. While you're there, be sure to treat yourself to the irresistible muachi, a delightful delicacy of glutinous rice balls. Madame Tang Muachi is the go-to place where Madame Tang herself works her magic. If you're craving a savory meal, venture into the charming Kim Liang Ki Chinese Noodle Restaurant. This eatery, established in the 1920s, is famous for its Hokkien Chinese noodles and Chi Chung Fun. After exploring the commercial buzz, delve into the cultural side of Chinatown. Make your way to the Guandi Daoist Temple, which dates back to 1887, making it one of the oldest Chinese temples in the region. Nearby is the Sri Mahamadian Temple, the city's oldest Hindu temple, built in 1873. It's a captivating spot to witness the vibrant Hindu processions during Diwali and Taipusam. Don't forget to buy your souvenirs at Central Market. This iconic destination is a paradise for art enthusiasts and souvenir hunters. Discover a wide range of arts, crafts, and cultural items that reflect Malaysia's rich heritage. It's the perfect to find unique mementos and immerse yourself in the local art scene. Shop till you drop at Bukit Bintang. Hop on a convenient MRT train at Pasar Seni. After two stops, you'll reach Bukit Bintang. This vibrant district is a paradise for fashion enthusiasts seeking the latest trends and styles. If you're up for a splurge, make your way to Pavilion KL or Star Hill Gallery, where you'll find high-end shopping that can seriously dent your wallet. These malls boast renowned brands like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Celine, and Tangs, making it a haven for luxury shopping enthusiasts. But hold on, we can't forget about the food. Don't pass up the chance to visit the lively Jalan Alor Food Market. It's open daily from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., except Thursdays, when it closes at 12 p.m. This vibrant street offers a plethora of mouth-watering options to satisfy your cravings. Sure, the prices might be a tad higher, but it's worth it for a popular tourist spot like this. It's the perfect spot to enjoy a trendy and romantic rendezvous with your significant other, treating yourselves to a delightful culinary adventure without breaking the bank. Get the best views at Petronas Twin Towers. The last stop for the first day is the iconic Petronas Twin Towers, a must-see attraction in KL. You can take a 30-minute walk from Bukit Bintang to the famous Twin Towers. These magnificent towers, once the tallest in the world, offer a breathtaking view and are adorned with some of the city's most notable landmarks. Take the elevator up to the observation deck, located on level 86. Here, you can get up close to the tower's spires and enjoy a mesmerizing panoramic view. International visitor tickets are available at 98 ringgit for adults and 50 ringgit for children. Don't forget to send a special postcard using Petronas' official postcard service, capturing the magic of your visit. The best time for your visit is the late evening between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. Witness a captivating fountain and light show that adds an extra touch of magic to the surroundings. And that's not all. From 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., head over to the enchanting Lake Symphony in KLCC and be mesmerized by a symphony of lights dancing in harmony with the water. Day 2 Dive in the cultural wonders of KL. On day two of our adventure, we'll dive into the vibrant cultural scene of KL. Begin your day with an immersive exploration of Chowkit Market. Well, this is not the usual tourist place. This is the largest wet market in Malaysia. Prepare to be amazed as you step into this vibrant hub of culinary delights. With seemingly hundreds of stalls lining the narrow passageways, the market offers a fascinating glimpse into the rich tapestry of Malaysian culture. Visiting this market is like taking a step back in time. From there, you could take a bus to Merdeka Square, a historic landmark that holds great significance for Malaysia. This iconic square, adorned by the majestic Sultan Abdul Saman building, has witnessed the country's journey to independence. 
take a moment to appreciate the symbolic beauty of this place and reflect on the historical events that shaped the nation. A short walk away is Jamek Mosque, a serene sanctuary nestled at the confluence of the Sungay Klang and Sungay Gumbak rivers. This elegant mosque, with its graceful white domes, represents the deep-rooted Islamic heritage of Malaysia. Your cultural exploration continues as you venture to the Kuala Lumpur City Gallery. This hub of information and creativity offers a fascinating insight into the city's past, present, and future. There are captivating exhibits, intricate artwork, and informative displays. You'll unravel the layers of Kuala Lumpur's heritage and its evolution into a modern metropolis. The entrance fee is 10 ringgit. No cultural journey in KL would be complete without a visit to the National Mosque. This architectural masterpiece showcases the unique blend of traditional and contemporary Malay design, serving as a symbol of religious harmony and national pride. As you step into the serene ambiance of the mosque, you'll gain a profound appreciation for the rich cultural tapestry that defines Malaysia. To further enrich your understanding of the city, seize the opportunity to explore the National Museum of Malaysia. Through engaging displays and immersive experiences, you'll deepen your understanding of this country's history, art, and heritage. The admission fee for adults is priced at 5 ringgit, while children can enter for 2 ringgit. As you wrap up your day of cultural immersion, take a leisurely stroll through the scenic Perdana Gardens. Surrounded by the lush beauty of the KL Botanical Gardens and the enchanting Tasik Perdana Lake, this tranquil setting provides a serene escape and a chance to appreciate the natural wonders that complement the vibrant urban landscape. Day 3. Experience the magic of Genting Highlands on a day trip. After immersing yourself in the vibrant attractions of Kuala Lumpur, it's time to embark on a thrilling day trip to the enchanting Genting Highlands, located just an hour's drive from KL. Discover the hidden wonders of Batu Cave. On your journey to Genting Highlands, don't miss the opportunity to explore the mesmerizing Batu Caves, located 11 kilometers north of KL. These captivating limestone rock formations house a series of magnificent cave temples, making it one of Malaya's most treasured landmarks. Marvel at the awe-inspiring golden statue of Lord Murugan and prepare yourself for an exhilarating climb of 272 steps leading to the main cave temple. As you ascend, you'll be rewarded with breathtaking vistas of the city's skyline. Immerse yourself in the intricate network of caves, discovering the maze of Hindu shrines that lie within. To reach Batu Caves from KL, you have a few options. You can conveniently order a taxi for a nominal fee of approximately 20 ringgit, or for a more immersive experience, take the MRT train to Pasar Seni Station. From there, walk to Kuala Lumpur Old Railway Station, where you can catch a KTM commuter train directly to Batu Caves. The ticket costs only 2.5 ringgit, offering an affordable and efficient mode of transportation. Exploring the main Batu Cave is absolutely free. For an enhanced visit, consider exploring the Cave Villa, which is priced at 15 ringgit. The Cave Villa offers a deeper understanding of the cave's cultural and historical significance. Have fun at Genting Highland. After lunch, you can start heading to Genting Highlands. You can opt for a taxi ride. The approximate fare ranges from 95 ringgit to 120 ringgit, and the journey takes around 40 to 60 minutes, depending on traffic conditions. One of the must-visit attractions in Genting Highlands is the awe-inspiring Awana Skyway. Embark on a breathtaking 10 to 15-minute ride through green hills, valleys, and the spectacular Chin Sui Caves Temple. This exhilarating journey takes you to the pinnacle of Genting Resort World and is considered one of the most desired experiences for families in Malaysia. No visit to Genting Highlands is complete without a visit to the renowned Casino de Genting. The resort world in Genting offers a variety of casinos and premium gaming options, making it a paradise for gamblers. From Sky Casinos to the Genting Club, indulge in the sharpest and most sophisticated night of your life in Malaysia. Sky Avenue is the latest development in Genting Highlands. This vibrant space is directly connected to the latest casino and both the outdoor and indoor theme parks. Marvel at the giant LED screens adorning Level 1, and be sure not to miss the captivating Sky Symphony performance, an extraordinary display of audio, visual, and motion graphics programming. Explore the myriad of retail and F&B outlets, including restaurants, bars, and bistros, where you will be entertained to the fullest. 
Thank you for tuning in and watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to us. If there's something specific you'd like to know more about, let us know in the comments. We'll catch you in our next video.